Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here again. I'm making another video of just showing off which emulators still work with Windows 10. Um, a lot of us still like playing those old classic games. Um, I happen to be one of them myself, and we do that on PC using emulators. So, in some of my previous videos, I showed off the PlayStation 2 emulator, the Dolphin emulator, which is the Nintendo GameCube. And I also showed off the Null DC emulator, which is the Sega Dreamcast. So um, today I'm going to be showing off the PlayStation 1, which is the EPSXE emulator. Um, unfortunately, some emulators don't actually work properly with Windows 10. For example, Project 64, and that's a Nintendo 64 emulator, which could even give you a blue screen of death. So um, this video is just going to show off if the PlayStation 1 emulator still works. So I did try it earlier on today and it does have its fair share of problems. You do have to use some specific settings to get some of your games to work. So before I do that, I just want to quickly go through my specs as I know people always want to know what kind of hardware you're running. So I'm using an Intel i7-4790K which is at stock settings and I'm also using an Nvidia GTX 980Ti which is also at stock settings. I'm using an ASUS Maximus 7 Ranger Z97 motherboard and 16 gigabytes of Corsair Pro Series Vengeance memory which runs at 2400 MHz. So that's the specs taken care of. Now moving on to the emulator. The version I'm using is EPSXE 1.70. Now uh, I think this is pretty much the latest version you can get. And uh, when I initially used it, it did crash. So you have to use specific plugins if you want to use this in Windows 10. So the plugin I'm using on for graphics is Pete's OpenGL Driver 2.9. Um, you do have quite a few to choose from, but I found if you use any of the Direct 3D drivers, it will crash. So make sure you use an OpenGL driver and you shouldn't have a problem. Um, I'll quickly show you the settings I'm using. So I'm using a resolution of 2560 by 1440, uh, color depth at 32-bit, and pretty much everything else is at the maximum it can go. Obviously tweak this according to your system specs, but it shouldn't take much to run this emulator as it is very, very old. So I keep my stretching mode at default as I do like to play my games at full screen. And always keep uh, the frame rate locked as well because if you have too much of a high frame rate, it does make your game goes into turbo mode which ruins the experience so make sure all your games always locked I choose auto detect frame limit and use frame limit have both of these checked and you should be fine um, these kind of settings are to your liking I, pre I pretty much max everything out because I have a more than capable PC now one setting that is interesting is MDEC filter this makes movie clips in games look a lot less pixelated and another one is special game fixes. Now, there's a list of games that do have special fixes individually to the game, so enable them if you're going to play any of the games on this list. Um, in this demonstration, I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy VII, and what you know, they do have a fix for that, so I'm going to enable this. So this will make Final Fantasy VII run even better. So that's pretty much it for when it comes to video settings. For sound, I leave that at default. I'm using EPSXE SPU Core 1.70, which is at default. When you go to configure, it says there's nothing you need to configure, so you just leave it at stock and it's fine. My BIOS, I'm using um, SCPH1001. Um, I think the difference between these two BIOSes is one's PAL, so it's like a UK Europe um, BIOS, and this one's the US American BIOS. I prefer the American BIOS because it has um, a higher frame rate on some games, so I always use SCPH1001. So that's pretty much it when it comes to getting the emulator set up. Obviously you do have to configure your gamepad, or if you're still using a keyboard, which I don't recommend, you have to um, obviously manually enter which keys you want to do what. I'm using an Xbox 360 pad myself, so I've set up the keys accordingly to my Xbox 360 pad. Okay, so the game I'm going to use for this demo is uh, Final Fantasy 7. This is one of my favorite games growing up and till this day is still one of the best selling RPG games ever, so it's definitely a classic and this is the game I'm going to choose to run for this demo.
So as you can see the EPSXE PlayStation 1 emulator has no problems running in Windows 10. Which is nice to see because um, I'm definitely one of those who still enjoy playing the old classics. And it would be a shame if having a new operating system means you're going to miss out on doing that. Anyway that's it for me, hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.